Hi there. Epson has released a port to the S1D 13781 Shield graphics library for the ARM Embed Online Compiler. So I'm going to demonstrate how to set up the library with the Embed Compiler. Before we go on though, note that a few simple hardware modifications are required to use the Shield board with the compatible platforms. The modifications are described in the listed document available at vdc.epson.com. So to start working with the Embed Online Compiler, you're going to need to go to developer.embed.org. And since, since it's an online compiler, you'll need to log in with your existing ID or you'll have to create an ID to work with it. So I'm going to use my test login here. And once we've logged in, we can open the compiler by clicking on the compiler button. And you'll see now we have an empty workspace. We have no programs and over here we have no device selected. So what we need to do is add a platform. Now I happen to have a ST Micro Nuclear nu Nucleo 401 here that I'm going to use. So what we're going to do is click on that and then we're going to add a platform by clicking on the Add Platform button. And it's going to open a browser page into Embed's website and what we need to do is go down and click on Arduino compatible form factor. There's a lot of other filters you can use but this is the important one. And then we're going to look for the Nucleo 401. So click on that. And once it comes up to the page it's going to say add to your embed compiler. Click on that. And now we can go back to our workspace and where it says no device like to click on it. And now you can see we've got it added to our as a registered platform. So let's highlight that one. It'll show us a bit of a description of it and the pinout if you if you want to check it out. And we're going to select that platform. And so now we have a platform that we can work with. Next we want to add a program that will allow us to work with the graphics library. So we're going to click on import. And then we're going to narrow our search here to S1D 13781 and click on the search and so here you can see we have several demonstration applications that we can select from. We're going to take the first one here so highlight graphics library demo and click on import. It'll come up with a, a small window that allows you to change some of the settings including the, the project name but we're going to use the default so just import and it's going to bring the files that are necessary into the workspace. Here we can see the library demo itself, we can see the graphics library files and we can see the embed files that are required for these for building these applications. To test our work we can now click on compile and it'll generate the binaries that you can send to the platform, in this case the Nucleo platform. So we're going to save that to the platform and then you should be able to look at your platform shortly and it will have started up the demonstration application. So that's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching and check out our website for more information.